This is IGCSE Chemistry and today we're working on electron configuration. Every atom comes with a nucleus and that nucleus has two types of subatomic particles known as protons and neutrons. Electrons are distributed in what is known as electron shells. There are two rules you have to keep in mind when doing the electron configuration for IGCSE. The first rule says that the innermost shell takes just two electrons and every other shell will take up to eight electrons. Let's assume that you've been asked to do the electron configuration of the element boron, which has five electrons. You will first distribute two electrons in the innermost shell, and now you will distribute three electrons in the outermost shell. Those electrons are known as the valence electron. Note that we have used two shells to build up the atom of boron. The number of shells that have been used to build the atom corresponds to the period where it's found in the periodic table. Boron is found in the second period. And that's why we've used two shells to build the atom of this element. Note also that we have three valence electrons in boron and that corresponds to the group number where this element is found. Next time you draw the electron configuration of an atom, keep in mind those two rules. First is that the group number always corresponds to the number of valence electrons. And second is that the number of shells corresponds to the period number of the element. 